hi guys welcome back to the channel i hope you are all doing great and i hope you are keeping yourself safe today i'm going to be attempting to make an african print sun hat with a wide brim so to start off i wanted to make the pattern for the brim and i used a paper which was 55 centimeters by 55 centimeters then i folded it two times then i started marking 27.5 centimeters from the from that corner just going in a circular motion like that so please note that in this video i'm going to be using centimeters but however i'm going to try and make the conversions and put them down for you in the description box then i drew a curved line like that you don't necessarily have to use a curved ruler you can just use your free hand then i cut that out with my scissors Then I went on to the corner, then I started to mark 10 centimeters again. Then I drew a line, which I cut away with my scissors as well. So this is the little part that you remove from the corner. It also, when you fold it out, it makes a circle. And that is the pattern that you use to cut the top of the head. I now went on to cut the band of the head. So I took an A4 page. Then I marked 11 centimeters. Then I drew that dotted line. Then I now went on to the corner, then from there I marked 3.5 centimeters. Then I drew a line which went on to join the bottom corner. Then from the dotted line I marked 3.5 centimeters, which I went on to join at the corner where the dotted line starts. Then on that line which I recently drawn, I now mark 2 cm and then I connected it from that point to that point. So that is the pattern for the band. So the, on the straight edge is where you will cut the fabric on fold. So there are the three pattern pieces. So this is the fabric that I used for the outer part of the hat. Then I cut all my fabric pieces. So here are all my fabric pieces for one side. And there are the other three fabric pieces for the other side. Then I now went on to cut my interfacing or violin. You can use any violin that you want to use. I would encourage you to use thick interfacing because I found it so hard to use. I would just go with normal interfacing. Then 
then after that i ironed on my interfacing onto all my pieces And I only ironed the interfacing only on one fabric. I didn't put interfacing on both fabrics, the outside and the inside. Only on one side, you pick which side you want to put the interfacing. And I now went on now to form the crown of the head. And the first thing that I do is to take the bend of the head and then fold it in half like that and then stitch on that edge. After that, I now attached the top part of the head with the bend to form the crown of the head. Then I went on to stitch it on the sewing machine. So I also made the crown for the other side of the head with the other fabric. Then I only turn one fabric inside out. Then I insert the one into the other. Then I pinned right round. Then I now went on to now make the brim of the head. And I took the same two fabrics, then I laid them right sides facing each other, then I pinned on the edges which I went on to sew on the sewing machine. Then I turned the brim inside out. Then I ironed it to make sure it's nice and flat. Then I went on to top stitch the edge of the brim. And at that point, I now attached the crown to the brim of the head. I inserted my pins, then I went on to sew this on the sewing machine. So the sewing machine that I'm currently using now is the Singer Heavy Duty 4432.
so after attaching the brim to the crown that is what the head looks like and on the other side of course you notice that we have raw edges Then I took a band of fabric like that or you can also use a ribbon which you can sew on or glue on. Then I also made this pretty bow which I now use to cover that part where the ribbon meets. So I made the bow in such a way that it is a pin that it can be removed and that is the end result. So if your brim is too big you can always fold it and make these uh, little pleats. And that is the head. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And I hope that I will keep on improving from now on and do better in the next DIY. Thank you and bye.